Winter is almost here, and it's frosted all over the farm. <laughs> it's frosted on the solar panels, too. <laughs> now, if you're going to be off-grid, there's one thing you got to do before winter sets in. And that's something very easy to do. Check your batteries, see if they need to be equalized. We've been running the power all night. I've, I've been at work all night, but my wife ran the power all night. Ceiling fan, she watched some movies, played some games, I'm, I'm sure. And I need to check our voltage. Okay, our voltage resting right now with no wattage coming in. You can see we're getting some voltage into the panels. They're starting to produce. But right now we're at 24.7 volts. That's not bad with a typical system, but those batteries should be fuller, which means I have to equalize them, which essentially means overcharge the batteries. It looks like it's gonna be a clear, gorgeous day. The plan is I'm gonna fire up the generator and I'm gonna run the generator all day. We're gonna run the house off the generator. We don't need much TV, lights, I'm, I'm gonna go to bed. That way, the batteries can fully charge up and then overcharge all day. And we should be set for the winter. I don't even know if this thing will start. I haven't started it for a long time. <laughs> you don't necessarily have to run the generator when you're equalizing your batteries. I like to, because then I know I get a full equalization then I know my batteries are fully set, fully recharged, fully healthy for the winter. That way, if we have to go for a few days without sun, weeks, months, we still have some residual power saved up. I've got a nifty little setup here. I've got a transfer switch I built and my transfer switch selector. The one on my left is for the house. The one on the right is for the charger circuit. Okay, so now I need to equalize these batteries. I can go ahead and turn it on now. Okay, I'm going to go to settings. Nope, that's not it. Uh, main menu. Equalize. Start. 116 volts in. And the sun's not even up yet. The sun's way over there. Panels are covered in ice. Now, if you're not familiar with what equalization does for batteries imagine this well well here actually yeah imagine this imagine this solar panel was your lead plate inside your battery and every time you discharge your battery you would build up sulfates onto your battery plates that's normal because you're using a sulfuric acid as an electrolyte when you discharge a battery you're actually breaking that chemical down into sulfates and water in layman's terms. It's a little bit more complicated on that. There's lead oxides, and it doesn't matter. But anyway, when you recharge that battery, you're breaking all those sulfates off and blending it back with the electrolyte. Now, that's all said and good, but after a while, you can't quite get all the sulfates off your battery plates. So an equalization is a little bit of an overcharge, usually about 15% of its normal charging voltage. Usually, go buy your battery's manufacturer standards. They should have a write out of all everything you need to know. So when you equalize a battery, you're actually getting those plates all nice and clean. And then that way you'll have more surface area across your lead plate to get more voltage back into your batteries, to discharge your batteries. It just makes your batteries a little bit healthier. But every time you do, actually, you're also tearing up your your uh, anodes and cathodes, your, your battery plates. Oh, and later that same day, you can see their batteries are now at 31.7 volts. I could go at 32 volts, but our inverter actually shuts down at 32 volts, so I, I just turned it down to 31.7. But if you look inside the batteries, <laughs> they are bubbling away. After you equalize a battery, it's important that you check the water level on your battery because that's when it's like gas off gassing the most. 12 o'clock midnight. Okay, now it's in the middle of the night. Now we can check our voltage now to see what we got. I cannot see shit. Oh my gosh. <laughs> We're sitting at 25.4. 
That's amazing, considering that I've practically played Starfield all night.